like a tiller to hun. I came here to conquer. Lanes bring the beef. I tell them no donker. They wanna play games. I shock them like Blanca. They still rudimentary. I'm tough like Tonka. And let me get this off my chest. I'm hearing going nowhere, so hate to take a rest. Ain't nothing handed, just working hard, sweating. You can take that to the bank. I know I did bet. What's good everyone, we are back with another video and before we get started, once again give some love to WOC, they're going to have some really big announcements very soon and actually I have one myself to make at the end of this video. Also, if you can, help me with the algorithm by dropping a like on the video, commenting if you feel like it, and of course subscribing if you're not and sharing with a friend. Without any more delay, let's get started. So we're actually going to pick up where we left off on one of the subjects that I said I was going to go into more. So we're going to talk about responsibility and not just responsibility and losses either. We're actually going to talk about overall responsibility and gameplay. Now, as you know, generally when we do this kind of thing, it applies to not just gaming or fighting games, but life in general. So one of the few things anybody ever wants to hear is critique on their gameplay. A lot of times because maybe in your head you may understand some of the mistakes you make but also nobody ever wants to hear that they did something wrong or badly perfect example what just a few weeks ago i made a video on being random now as i've said before being random isn't necessarily a bad thing it can help you out at certain times because there are times where you need to do something that you don't expect because your opponent may not expect it and if that's your reasoning fine at least you had somewhat of a reason to do it. But then there are other times where people may quite literally just not have a reasoning for doing what they do. Um, I've helped train people who kind of just throw out moves and hope that they, oh, I don't know, actually get something done, but they don't do anything with the information. So again, when you call somebody out on that, not necessarily in a bad way, especially if you're coaching them, please try not to hurt their feelings. I understand some coaches are tough, but you know, try to be reasonable with them if they are reasonable as well. Just a side note. But when you call somebody out on that, most people don't take it very well. A lot of people also tend to come up with excuses as to why they lost. And then there are other people who understand why they lost and kind of just manifest it themselves. So that way, after hearing it out loud, they know that they need to improve on something. There's nothing wrong with this at all, at least what I mentioned in the latter. With the former, well, a lot of people need to work on that. Even the best players, and sometimes even the most humble players, tend to shirk responsibility for things that go wrong when they do something or when something bad happens. Perfect example, you tend to get a lot of people in team-based games who will literally blame everyone and everything but themselves for a loss. They could blame another person for maybe dying too much, but Perhaps did that other person also provide a lot of assists? How did you do in particular? Were you also trying to assist your teammates? Did you make boneheaded plays as well? See, a lot of times people will take the mentality of, well, I didn't mess up as badly as this person did, so therefore it's not my fault that we lost. When in reality, maybe a few mistakes that you could have improved upon may have been the tipping scale for perhaps a team victory. All in all, you want to make sure that you take a good chunk of responsibility for the actions that led to a loss or perhaps maybe just a bad situation and also give your opponent a little bit of credit too because sure maybe you made a mistake but they also capitalized on it which means that they can't be all that bad can they the other thing stop taking criticism so seriously and what i mean by that is if somebody calls you random and you know you did something random own up to it if you actually had a plan on what you did own up to it hey Explain yourself as far as that's concerned. I've mentioned this in the past. A lot of times the difference between whether a person is random or genius is the explanation behind it. And guess what? Sometimes people don't have the luxury afforded to them for others to make the explanation for them. And sometimes people kind of just go along with it because somebody else explained it. In the end, you're going to have to give your opponent some kind of credit. Either you lost or something in that match happened. Now, if you're losing and 
and your opponent is calling you random, guess what? There's probably something in there that maybe you don't want to admit, but you're probably a little bit random. And of course, last but not least, please make sure you go over your own footage. It's just a part of taking responsibility. One of the hardest things to do is to watch yourself back and see yourself make a lot of mistakes. But trust me, it does help. I think that'll probably be about it as far as taking responsibility. Overall, it's just a matter of self-reflection and eh, swallowing your pride a little bit too. Now, as far as what I said I would have as far as an announcement, I'm gonna be starting exhibition matches. These are going to be under the name of, and thank you to my good friend Slim, Five Knuckle Scuffle. So what these are going to be are anywhere from about a first to five to a first to ten in different games. You know, we'll get a match arena going for these guys, but hey, we're going to set up our own. If you feel like you have a really good match that you want to challenge somebody, let me know if you, we can set it up for the two of you. But this is what it's going to be. So look out for that as well. I think I've taken up enough of your time. So as I always say, be safe, take care of each other, press buttons and catch you on the flip side. Meister. Let me tell you what she like. Me. Let me tell you what she like. Singing cheese. Let me tell you what she like. So sweet. Let me tell you what she like on me. Let me tell you what she like. Me.